All right, here are three investing tips from three unconventional books that changed my entire perspective on investing, all in three minutes. The first lesson comes from the history of the Standard Oil Company, a book published way back in 1904 by Ida Tarbell. Tarbell explains that in the 1800s, companies digging for salt regularly came across oil instead. But oil wasn't being used in those days, so they would just discard it and move on. If they found a salt well that had too much oil in it, they'd abandon the entire area and keep looking for salt elsewhere. And it wasn't until years later that we discovered how valuable oil was, but by that time, it was far too late. The lesson here is that sometimes your desire for one thing, salt, is so strong that you overlook a much more valuable thing, oil, in your pursuit of it. But if you were to just zoom out for a moment, you'd see that you were throwing away something more valuable than the thing you're seeking. For investors, this means don't get so narrow-minded that you miss the forest for the trees. There's value out there everywhere, and our job is to keep an open mind so we can find it. The second lesson comes from Busting Loose from the Money Game by Robert Scheinfeld. Scheinfeld says that we're all playing a money game, but that each of our money games is different because we all relate to money in a different way. So the question is, how do you bust loose from the money game? Well, first, you need to accept that you're playing a money game that's bound by your beliefs. And if your beliefs support your goals, you're playing on easy mode. But if you're like most people and your beliefs are holding you back, then you're playing on hard mode. Second, identify what your limiting beliefs around money are. These are usually linked with beliefs around success and self-worth. So don't be surprised if you dig up some unsavory stuff here. And finally, challenge and replace those limiting beliefs with new empowering beliefs. Your investing results will be very closely tied to the money game you've chosen to play. So if deep down you believe you can never be wealthy, you won't be. The third lesson comes from The Box by Mark Levinson, which is a biography of the shipping container. The Box explains how the container completely reinvented the global economy. But what I find especially interesting is that over the past 50 years, two of the wealthiest countries on Earth, Singapore and Hong Kong, built their wealth by strategically aligning themselves with the shipping container. How did they do it? They developed deep water ports that could accommodate the world's largest ships. They lowered taxes and removed trade barriers to encourage companies to do business there. They built up logistics, warehousing, and transportation services, all to support the shipping industry. In other words, they built the knowledge and skills to capitalize on one of the biggest technological transformations of the past 100 years. Here's how to do the same thing on an individual level. First, make a short list of what you believe will be the highest impact technologies over the next 100 years. Don't overthink this, just spend a minute or two on it. Next, write down the knowledge and skills you'd need to develop to capitalize on each of those technologies. For example, if cryptocurrency is on your list, then an understanding of blockchain might be one of the skills to learn. And finally, compare the skills on your list with the skills you currently have. Where are you lacking? What can you do to fill the gaps? And how can you get started on that today? If you wanna see my answers, I've included them in the template file I created, which you can grab from the link below. So these lessons have changed the way I think about investing, and they've been super valuable for me over the years. But you know what's even more powerful than a series of lessons? A framework you can apply over and over again. That's why you need to watch this video next, where I explain my 222 system, an easy to implement framework that will definitely boost your investing returns. I'll see you there.